over in Junction, St. Elizabeth, this seems like a case of long run, short catch. A man who police had listed as wanted for offenses, including rape, stemming from an incident more than 10 years ago in Hanover, was gunned down on Wednesday night after he eluded local law enforcement by moving to the United States. The man identified by police as Vernon Shearer, 46, a resident of Mays Land in New Jersey, was listed among Hanover's 10 most wanted up to 2022. Head of the Hanover Police Superintendent Ian Mowat confirmed that Shearer, otherwise called Van Damme, was listed as wanted for abduction, rape, illegal possession of firearm, and assault at common law. Police said Shearer was being sought in connection with the abduction of two people, a man and a woman, on December the 19th, 2011. A police report said sometime between 1.10 p.m. and 11.30 p.m., the offenses of abduction, rape, illegal possession of firearm, and assault at common law were committed against the two complainants at Lower Rock Spring in Anova. At that time, police said Shearer was a 34-year-old farmer and a resident of Upper Rock Spring in Anova. Checks reveal that Shearer was listed as wanted at least three times between 2020 and 2022 in connection with the 2011 incident. However, it is believed that Shearer fled the country and was residing in New Jersey. Reports suggest that he recently returned to the island as a visitor. A police report said about 9.40 p.m. on Wednesday, Shear was inside a bar at Cheapside near Junction, St. Elizabeth, when gunmen drove up in a motor car and alighted from the vehicle and shot Shear several times in the upper body. The police said another man who was in a car in the vicinity of the bar was hit by a bullet as the gunmen fled the scene. Shear and the other man was taken to hospital where Shear was pronounced and the other man admitted for treatment. You can just imagine Shera waited until he was sure that his name was not on the police most wanted list. Then he visited Jamaica, thinking that the incident was forgotten. But trust and believe, Jamaicans do not forget anything. Right now, retaliation is like a pastime and people are taking their retaliation in their own and worse if the court system had failed them at the time anything possible we don't know if this was the only incident he was involved in another thing i always wonder don't the jamaican police force make any arrangements with the authorities overseas so that when they have criminal elements and they try to flee the island they can be held at airports here or abroad so if you never pick up here you can buy out who they are for later when you go overseas once they put your name in the system they can sit they can not let you in arrest you and send you back i don't understand how the security system is set up in jamaica because if you are wanted and you're a criminal from the beginning from your wanted you should be on something where any ports that you try to enter or exit from when you put in your name your passport number whatever it should have connected anyway jungle justice has worked its way we still don't know if it's off that case or whatever else he was guilty of so after all the halabaloo finally police commissioner major general anthony anderson has confirmed that an overtime system has now been established for rank and file police officers to receive their overtime wages that were owed to them. The development appears to bring to an end the long running dispute over unpaid overtime monies between the Jamaica Police Federation and the Jamaica Constabulary Force JCFI Command. Speaking at his annual devotion exercise that was streamed on the JCF YouTube channel last week, 
Anderson said the system is not perfect, but law enforcers have been paid for their overtime work. Let's really hope that is true. We the JCF got things done that couldn't be done, haven't been done, he declared. He put in place, finally, an overtime system. It's not perfect, but people have been paid for the time they have worked. It's something that has been spoken about for a long time and we got that done, he told the audience of mainly police officers. The overtime pay issue came to a head when the police federation sued the government claiming that rank and file members of the JCF were owed billions for unpaid overtime work. A Supreme Court ruling in June 2022 ordered the government to implement a system to record officers' overtime hours by March 31, 2023. At the Federation's annual conference in May of last year, Andis promised officers that they would receive the owed overtime pay. However, two months later, the rank and file cops still had not been paid, prompting criticism from the opposition People's National Party calling on the government and the JCF to abide by the court order. At the funeral service for slain police constable Damian Blair on July the 15, 2023, a clearly incensed chairman of the Jamaica Police Federation, Corporal Ron James, said the Federation will not be muzzled, intimidated nor bamboozled over the latest developments involving itself, the police high command and what he termed the Council of Deputies over the continuous issue of overtime payment for rank and file police personnel. He also slammed the High Command for failing to make the overtime payments to rank and file police personnel, despite the government having approved such a system to calculate and make the payments. In his rant, Rowan James said, I also want to say, to the police high command and our commissioner of police major general anthony anderson god help you if the membership is not paid their overtime this month declared james sternly in what appeared to be a direct threat of undeclared action or actions to come i guess that was when the commissioner get all up into him feelings by late july james was notified that following a probe into the remarks the commissioner had asked the disciplinary action to be taken against him at a court of inquiry as E. James was being accused of conduct contrary to the discipline, good order and guidance of the force. But a Supreme Court ruling in November of last year allowed James to resume his duties. But the court battle between him and the JCF are believed to be far from over. As senior JCF officer through his attorney, has appealed that Supreme Court ruling. James, on the other hand, has filed an application in the Supreme Court against Assistant Commissioner of Police ACP Andrew Lewis seeking an order holding the senior officer in contempt of court. James, through his attorney, Hugh Wildman, is contending that the High Command has failed to fully reinstate him as Police Federation Chairman. This despite the November 2023 ruling of the Supreme Court. I think Mr. Ron James should have more of the police force supporting him because it's because of his outbursts. Why finally they are going to get their monies that they were owed. May not have been the right place and the right time that he made his utterances, but when you're at in a situation and you're thinking about all the stress of the job and how this officer lost his life and he would have lost his life without even getting much benefits that he was supposed to have had. So it's just feelings and he was talking our feelings, which is a reality for many police officers as they were not getting paid for their overtime. You understand? And they feel like they're sacrificing them life for what? And they're not even getting proper paid. So it's just feelings and so on. They could have excused that, which later benefit them all right now. So at the end of the day, finally, 
they will be getting paid. Hopefully they get all of it and then they just put out this big speech. And reality when you check them, they are not really they don't really get everything and then get in piece a piece. And you know them stay already. One big speech and really not a lot behind it. Then get a little something and then then we have to come back and cuss one year down the line. Say remember then come out and did say we're getting it and guess what? They never really did give us. They only give us some. Cause yeah, we know them stay. So right now. Once them get little, them are going to stay hush hush in hopes of making sure them get everything. You understand? That's how generally the system set up. And we we hoping that they indeed have gotten all that is owed. Anyway guys, please remember to like, comment and subscribe to my platform please. Love you all. Bye for now.